Analysis Mastic Asphalt with Natural Fiber Binder Concrete as a Wearing Course Abstract A combination of coarse add-on, fine aggregate, filler, and binder is typically a bituminous mixture. Hot asphalt mixes a bituminous compound with all elements at high temperature, blended and compacted. HMA is known as bituminous concrete, BC, or stone matrix asphalt, SMA, which can be dense graded mixes, DGM, mixtures or graded holes. To avoid the drain from combining, SMA requires stabilizing additives consisting of fibers of cellulose, mineral fibers, and polymers. In this research, an attempt was made to examine results of the use in SMA, as stabilizing agent and as a BC additive, of the natural and locally accessible fiber called sisal fiber. The overall gradation of the mixes according to the Morth standard was routinely varied from 4 to 7% and fiber quality from 0 to 0.5% to maximum from 0.0%. Fly ash was shown to have satisfactory martial effects as part of the preliminary analysis and was thus used for subsequent works in mixtures. The optimum fiber content, OFC, of both BC and SMA mixes using the martial method was found to be 0.3%. Similarly, BC and SMA's optimum binder content, OBC, is defined as 5% and 5.2%. Then various performance tests such as drain down tests, Static indirect tensile strength tests and static creep testing are performed in OBC and OFC, to measure the impact of fiber applied on mixed performance. The conclusion is that adding sisal fibers, in both BC and SMA combinations, enhance the mixing properties such as martial resilience, drain characters, and indirect tensile power. 2. It is found that, with regard to indirect tensile strength and creep properties, SMA is greater than BC. Keywords TIG Welding SS304 Aluminum I Introduction Highway building requires immense infrastructure spending. A detailed design will save substantial investment and ensure consistent efficiency on the in-service route. Inflexible paving engineering and mixed design two things are of major importance. This research is connected to the nature of the blend. A successful configuration of the bituminous mix can lead to a suitable mix of following. I. Solid. 2. Robust. 3. Environmentally safe. 4. Economically resistant to fatigue. V. Permanent deformation. A mix designer seeks to do this by evaluating a mix of various proportions and finalizes with the best. In the present work, some of the problems involved in this art of bituminous mixing and in the direction of current research are listed. 1.2 Blend Style Evolution The bituminous paving technique was used on rural roads first in the 1900s to tackle the quick removal of fine particles in the form of dust, as a consequence of the rapid growth of vecules in water-bound macadam. Strong oils were used as a palliative of dust at the initial stage. The required amount of heavy olive oil in the mix was measured by an eye estimating process known as the pat test. The combination was then patted like a pancake and pushed against a brown paper. The adequacy of the quantity was assigned according to the amount of stain made on the paper. Initially built on a sand asphalt mixture, the Hubbard Field method was the first systematic mix modeling technique. The Hubbard Field system does not accommodate blends of large aggregates. It was one of the limits of this method. The Havim stadiometer has been created by Francis Havim, a California highway project engineer. Havim had no previous experience with determining the correct color of the blend and thus wanted to test different mixing criteria in order to evaluate the best volume of bitumen. In order to estimate the amount of bitumen needed, Havim used the surface computing principle, which existed already at that time for a design of cement mixed concrete. In 1946 and 1954, the Havim test was complemented by moisture susceptibility and sand equal testing. It was originally developed in the 1930s by Bruce Marshall in the USA Army Corp. In the 1940s and 1950s it was later improved. Marshall developed a Marshall test machine shortly before the Second World War. 1.3 Mix Architecture 1.3.1 Bituminous Blend Feature Objective Asphalt slash bituminous concrete consists of a combination of aggregates, usually of less than 25 mm, graded continuously from full scale, into a thin filler of less than 0.075 mm ensuring compactness is efficiently hindered and that the mixture has acceptable dissipative and elastic properties is applied with adequate bitumen to the blend. The nature of the bitumen mix aims to decide the proportion of bitumen, fillers, fine aggregations, and coarse aggregates for a working, solid, stable, and cost-effective mix. The goal of the mix design is to create a bituminous blend to provide a proportion between different materials. 1. Enough bitumen to provide a sturdy floor. 2. Sufficient resilience to survive traffic deformation at higher temperatures. 
3. Enough compacted bitumen air vacuum to permit more traffic compaction. 4. Adequate working capability to allow fast positioning without separation. 5. Enough resistance to prevent premature cracking due to repetitive traffic bending. 6. Enough resistance to shrinking cracks at low temperatures. 1.3.2 Bituminous Blends Requirements 1.3.2.1 Steadiness Stability is characterized as the paving mix s resistance to traffic deformation. Two examples of malfunction are, I shoving a rigid transverse deformation resulting in high acceleration areas and, 2, rowing linear riding caused by traffic channeling. Stability depends mainly on the interparticle friction and the bitumen's cohesion. Enough liquid friction should be available at the time to coat all the particles. But where the binder content is high and the particle is left apart, stability reduces. 1.3.2.2 Robustness The resistance of the blend to weathering and abrasive behavior is the durability described. The weather causes hardening because of loss of bitumen volatiles. Abrasion is caused by tensile loads of the wheel. Typical examples are pothole, 2, replacement, missing binder from aggregates and aggregates, erosion of the pavements. Disintegration is reduced because the mixture is airtight and waterproof, and bitumen film is more hardening resistant. 1.3.2.3 Flexibility Flexibility is a measure of the bending power needed to counteract traffic load and resist surface cracking. Fracture or surface defects, key causes for the fracture are shrinking and the fragility of the binder. Hairline fractures, alligator cracks, reduction of cracks because of the binder volume transition due to aging. Brittleness is attributed to frequent surface bending due to lots of traffic. More bitumen content and less fracture can give. 1.3.2.4 Resistance to skids The surface texture and bitumen quality depend on the resistance of the finished pavement to skidding. In high-speed traffic it is an significant consideration. The accessible graded texture of the coarse surface is typically preferable. 1.3.2.5 Capability of work Workability is the convenience to lay and compact the mix and type according to the appropriate shape and state. Their shape and texture, their bitumen contents and form depend on the gradation of the aggregates. The workability of angular, flaky, and expanded add-ons. Rounded aggregates on the other hand enhance the functionality. 1.3.2.6 General Properties The optimal properties of an oil mix can be summarized from the above discussion as follows, the following. Traffic Demand Stability the material of bitumen to ensure correct binding and water safety. Vacuums for traffic compaction. Traffic capacity stability, particularly in the cold season. Sufficient building workability. The cost-effective blend. 1.3.3 Combining elements. Field add-ons, provide compressive and shear control and strong locking characteristics. For example. Granite. Fine compounds, in the cough aggregate fills the vacuum and strengthens the binder. For example, sand, gravel of the rock, filler, fills the voids, tightens the binding device and gives permission. For example fly ash, rock powder, firewood, binding, fills vacuum, induces stickiness and trapping of particle and provides waterproofness. For example, asphalt, bitumen, tar, text, letter, description automatically generated, diagram, engineering drawing. Description automatically generated. 4.1.1 Flow Value 4.1.2 Unit Weight 4.1.3 Air Void 4.1.4 Void in Mineral Aggregate, VMA 1.4 Binder Selection A number of researchers are using different binder types such as Convectional Bitumen 60 70 or Convectional Bitumen 80 100, with various types of adapted binding systems, such as Polymer Modified Bitumen, PMB, Crumb Rubber Modified Bitumen, CRMB, Natural Rubber Modified Bitumen, NRMB. A few researchers have even used a super pave output binding grade such as PG76-22 with bituminous blend, BC and SMA. A comparative analysis with or without the use of fibers is performed in this study between BC and SMA. 60 70 bitumen penetration grade is used for binding purpose. 1.5 Stabilize Additive Selection Segment Variety of Stabilizing Additives such as fibers like cellulose, mineral fibers, and more, are applied to the bituminous blend, primarily with the stone matrix asphalt to avoid unnecessary runoff. Many scientists also use natural fiber such as jute fiber and cocoa fiber. An effort has been made to allow use, both in bituminous bin, BC, and in stone matrix asphalt, SMA, 
of natural fiber called sisal fiber in bitumen composition. 2. Related work Punith ETL 2004, carried out a comparative analysis of SMA with asphalt concrete mix using reclaimed polythene as a stabilizing agent, 3 mm S and 0.4%. The test results indicate that both the SMA and the AC mixture have strengthened their mixing properties by adding polythene reclaimed as a stabilizing agent, which indicates greater rut tolerance, moisture resistance, and high drug resistance. Ibrahim M. ACI, 2005, has done numerous tests such as Marshall Stability Test, Marshall Stability Failure, Tensile Force, Tensile Tensile Force, Robust Module, Exhausted Life, SMA as well as DGM, Rutting Resistance. He concluded that while DGM is highly compact and tensile, SMA has a higher toughness, a high tolerance and a high rutting resistance compared to DGM. Therefore in hot weather SMA is preferable. The usage and re-examination of fiber modified binder by cellulosic fibers, PG65-22, with fiber ratios of 0.2%, 0.4%, 0.6% and 1.0% in the weight of add-ons showed enhanced rheological results. Muniandi and Huit 2006, used cellulose oil palm fiber, COPF, and found fiber modified binder. The PG64 22 binder has been found to be able to be altered to grade PG70 22. The fatigue efficiency of SMA Dane mix has been improved by the use of cellulose oil palm fiber, COPF. Tiredness grew to a maximum fiber content of about 0,6%, while tensile stress and rigidity showed a similar performance pattern. At 0,6%, the initial strains of the blend were lowest. Kumar ETAL, 2007, studied. In a SMA fiber, the result was contrasted with an imported cellulose fiber, cellulose fiber. Imported from Germany, by using bitumen of 60 seventieths. It is a low viscosity coating that is covered with low viscosity binder. The optimal proportion of fiber as a 0.3% of the mixture has been discovered. Jute fiber showed equivalent import findings Marshall stability test, Permanent deformation test, and fatigue life test suggest proprietary fibers. The aging index of the jute fiber preparation shows better performance than the proprietary fiber. The Marshall test determined and showed good results, using waste marble powder collected as a filling and ideal bonding material from the formation method for marble blocks and limestone. Mustafa and Sertel, 2007, dot as a tire binder for SMA and finding mixtures with ARSMA not substantially distinct from traditional SMAs in terms of humidity sensitivity CHU and LU, 2007, used asphalt rubber, AR, developed by blending the rubber tire for the ground, GTR, I, 30% coarse GTR with a maximum size number 27 and, 2, 20% fine with a maximum size number 3700 asphalt sieve. Xiaopeng Wu ETL 2007 used basic oxygen slag in SMA and concluded that experimental SMA is superior to convectional SMA. As a PG76-22 modified binder and limestone aggregated and fillered polyester fiber chopped. Shwe ETL 2008, used fleece ash as part of a rough agglomerate of fine or mineral fillers of 6.35 mm fiber in length collected with recycled raw materials, PG76-22 binder in SMA mix and Marshall and super paved process of construction and considered suited to use as well, as the flake and the bottom of the burner, MSWI, are the part of a coarse aggregate of polyester fiber of 6.35 mm length. CS, Bina, KS. Bindu, 2010, use as a stabilizing agent shredded plastic waste in a mixture of asphalt stone matrix and compare their property to SMA without stabilizing agent. The trial test was carried out with a differing bitumen percentage, 6 to 8 percent, and separate plastic percentage, 6 to 12 percent, Marshall, compression strength test, tensile strength test, and trial axial test. Match. Mix mix. In contrast to SMA which used limestone ordinary Portland cement to fill a range of content, 4 to 7 percent, Joni Hassanet.al, 2010 has examined the impact of using the waste glass power as mineral fillers on Marshall SMA property. 7% have been found to contain optimum glass strength. The glass power used in SMA raises its durability by up to 13%, and lowers its flow value by up to 39%, which means density is also decreased, relative to SMA, where lime and cement fillers are used. 2.4 Completed Remarks The Literature Review offers an analysis of studies on bituminous compounds such as asphalt, SMA, stone matrix and graded dense compounds. 
Keeping in mind the main aspects of the tests, the composition, and the necessary methods for the present analysis are chosen for the materials of SMA and bituminous betone, BC. In this analysis the various characteristics of SMA and BC are compared via a separate test such a Marshall test, indirect tensile stress test, static creep test where 60 70ths bitumen is used as binder and fly ash for fillers. This test is also carried out. The Morth gradation was adopted in this study. In order to avoid the drainage of binder mortar from the mix, researchers focused primarily on the use of cellulose and other materials in the mixes. In past literature, particularly SMA mixes, no use has been made of non-conventional fiber such as sisal fiber, which mostly contains cellulose from the outside and is widely and cheaply available worldwide. Therefore, it is used in the preparation of BC and SMA mixes as a stabilizing additive. In this way the question of solid waste disposal will be addressed and at the same time the potential to use a non-conventional waste material in an usually unconventional mix like SMA could be discussed. 3. The Proposed Method 3.1 Proposed Methodology Fiber Sisal fiber is used in these applications as an additive of about 900 mm in length and thickness from 0.2 mm to 0.6 mm. In order to ensure correct mixing with add-ons, the sisal fiber was cleansed and cut to a small piece of 15 to 25 mm long. 3.2 Blends Primed In compliance with the Marshall Protocol laid down in ASTM D1559, the mixes were prepared. The field aggregates, fine aggregates, and filler were combined with the adopted gradation as shown in Table 3.1 for BC and SMA. Table 3.2 and Chart 3.2 First of all a comparative analysis on BC is carried out with three distinct filler types, i.e. asphalt, fly ash, and stone dust. The Marshall test has found here optimum binder quality, OBC, where binding content goes pretty far from 0 to 7%. Then Marshall method found optimum binding content, OBC and optimum fiber content, OFC, for both BC and SMA where the content of the binder is from 0% to 7% and the fiber content differs from 0,3% to 0,5%. Sisal fibers were applied to the aggregate sample in varying amounts after they were sliced into small parts, 15 to 20 mm. The mineral aggregates were individually heated up to the prescribed mixing temperature with fibers and binders. The mineral aggregate temperature was kept at 10 degrees Celsius above the binder temperature. In the preheated fiber aggregate mixture, the appropriate volume of binder has been applied and the thorough mixing has taken place manually until the color and quality of the mix is consistent. In 2-5 to five minutes the mixing time was preserved. The mixtures were then poured into preheated Marshall melts, and a compactive effort of 75 blows was used to create the samples. For cooling to room temperature, the specimens were stored overnight. Afterwards, the samples were removed and examined by the normal research protocol at 60 degrees Celsius. 3.3 Mixing Testing The studies on the bituminous blends, with various forms and amounts of binders and with fiber concentration in the mixture are presented below. 3.4.1 Checking of Marshall Marshall mix construction is a common laboratory process adopted around the world for determination and reporting of bituminous paving mixture's strength and flow characteristics. The system of bituminous mixes is very common in India. Many researchers have also used this test to test bituminous mixtures. The simplicity and low cost of this research approach is generally known. In the light of the different benefits of the Marshall process, the optimal binder material, OBC, method for mixes was used, and different Marshall characteristics such as Marshall flexibility, flow values, unit weight, air vacuum etc. were also discussed. The sample of the Marshall and the Marshall apparatus is seen in figures 3.1 and 3.2 in loaded specimen Marshall. In order to achieve the optimum binder contents, OBC, and optimum fiber content, OFC, Marshall properties including durability, flood value, unit weight, and air vacuum were studied. By means of the technique stated by Das and Chuck Raborty, 2003, the volumetric mix of the Marshall samples including unit weight and air vacuums was measured. Each evaluation for all forms of mixes cannot be carried out for time constraints. The next set of trials, such as drain tests, static indirect tensile tests and moisture sensitivity tests, was then calculated. Various techniques have been developed to determine the drainage properties of bituminous mixtures. This research followed the drain-down approach proposed by Morth, 2001. Figure 3.3 displays drainage baskets manufactured locally to conform with Morth, 2001, requirements. The loose unco impact mixes were then transmitted into the drainage baskets, which were deposited for three hours in a preheated oven kept at 150 degrees Celsius. Under the drainage baskets, 
rewoven plates were held to catch the drained binder drops. The drainage test measured the binder drainage from the equation. For result analysis, the following is explained by a combination of Marshall's properties for a particular binder material, where a fiber content of 0% is taken, 0.3% and 0.4%. 4.4.1 Stability of the Marshall It can be shown that the rise in the consistency value of the binder material rises and decreases of some binder content. In the same way, fiber stability applied rises beyond some thresholds, and the addition of fiber stability continues to decrease. This could be due to excess fiber that cannot be blended correctly in an asphalt matrix. Figure 4.13 indicates the result below. The improvement in the flow value of binder material is observed. By adding 0.3% flow value, the added value of fiber is decreased by more than 1%. The flow value for SMA should be 2 to 4 mm flow value difference with different SMA binding material with different fiber content as seen in Figure 4.14. It is found that the weight increases as the binding content increases to certain critical content and then decreases. Figure 4.15 gives the variation of the unit weight for a different fiber binder material. It is noted that the air vacuum decreases with increased binder content. Figure 4.16 offers differences in the air vacuum for various fiber materials. It should be between 2 and 4 percent, suggested by Morth. This illustrates why the binding material below Table 4.11 is 3 percent vacuum. Found that it diminishes first and then rises sharply. Variations of VMA with varying fiber content are seen in Fig 4.17. Void filled with bitumen, VFB. It is observed that first it increases at sharp rate. Variation of VFB with different binder content with different fiber content is shown in Fig 4.18. Fiber S effect on the tensile strength static indirect. The indirect tensile strength differences with temperature for mixes are seen in Figures 4.19. The its value decreases with a temperature rise and when fiber is applied to the mixture, it rises with a special binding agent. 4.6.2 Static Indirect Tensile Strength Temperature Effect Effect The difference in its importance with and without fiber-free and binder material with temperature is shown in Figure 4.19. The its value decreases with a rise in temperature for a single binding agent. The SMA blends have the highest indirect tensile power at lower temperatures than BC. Static cracking is achieved as static load is applied in calculating the permanent deformation of bituminous mixes. The deformation of the mixture by the inclusion of fiber is observed from Fig 20. As mix is prepared and filled at OBC and OFC is less deformed than combined without fiber. Another result is that BC deformation is more than SMA. It is known that for fiber-free SMA it is essential to use a binder of 5,8%, this value decreased by 0,3% to 5,2% for the addition of sisal fiber to SMA. It also increases to 6 the insertion of cable, contributing to full down drainage. 3. Stability increases tremendously, by applying 0.3% fiber to SMA and decreases more instability. 4. Reduces by applying 0.3% of the fiber to SMA and increases the value of fiber movement. 5. The greatest value of fiber is that the mixture eliminates air gap. 6. Binder reduces drain down. 6. 5.5 OBC and OFC blend. Different tests are performed on the OBC, OFC, and blend, including drain down test, DDT, indirect tensile strength, ITS, and its conclusion is given below. 1. SMA drain is more fiber free than BC. The drain of the binder is decreasing at their OFC. 2. It is inferred that the tensile strength of SMA is above BC from indirect tensile strength. 3. It is inferred from the static creep test that deformation is minimized by fiber addition to BC and SMA. Morth suggested the deformation not exceed 0.5 mm for permanent deformation. A SMA fiber sample shows a strong deformation of approximately 0.45 mm. 5.6 comments to finish. Two blend kinds here i.e. A 60 70th bitumen penetration is used as a binder for SMA and BC. A natural fiber, called sisal fiber is often used at various amounts, 0 to 0,5%. Marshall approach of blend architecture distinguishes OBC and OFC usually 0.3% of the fiber characteristics of the blend are enhanced. It is inferred from several tests such as drain down test, indirect tensile strength test and static creep test that SMA is sisal fiber based and can be used in compact paving conditions. 5.7 Scope of the Future In this analysis many properties of SMA and BC blends, such as the characteristics of Marshall and Drain, as well as tensile strength properties, were tested. 
This study has proved to only include 60 70th bitumen with penetration in a refined natural fiber known as sisal fibers. Nevertheless, such qualities may be further studied, such as tiresome properties, moisture susceptibility, snoring tolerance, and dynamic fluidity. Mixes may also test an equivalent other synthetic and natural fibers and other kinds of binder. The sisal fiber used in this study is a low-cost commodity such that a cost-effectiveness review can be carried out to consider its impact on building costs. In addition, novel stretches can be established, and output can be tracked regularly to ensure the success of this new material.